hello guys welcome back to sally's corner i know it's been a while and that's why i'm here to tell you guys where i've been i've just been doing some soul searching self-reflection and i've basically been just reflecting on my past and reflecting on my life and just looking forward and wanting more and better for myself and i just felt like I wasn't where I needed to be and I just wanted to be at a better place and basically it took doing a lot of change in my life. Okay, what led me to this? In the month of May, I lost my sister, my big sister and it's funny how now I can say it like so casually but it's, it, was, it was a huge turning point for me, like it hurts. And I haven't been myself since then. I haven't been able to be myself. I have tried. I have first day. If you even look at my last video, I posted study um my study abroad challenges or whatever. I literally just put that out, but I was still hurting then. And then after that, I also had a breakup. And basically, like I just I've been through a lot. And it just made me reflect. I've been reflecting and I've just been seeing where I went wrong, what has been happening, like what really happened, what got me here. And finally, I, I felt like I, right now I'm still in the process of healing and I'm just taking my time. And so I might not be on here like as consistent as I want to be, but I just want to tell you guys to be patient with me and just relax. I'm going to leave a few of my videos so that you can go back and watch but I've taken a lot of them down just for my sanity and for my mental health and um, I'm just also I'm sharing this with you guys in case there's anyone going through the same thing as me just anyone struggling with their past or struggling with um, heartbreak depression struggling with loss in the family or just if you're just feeling down, feeling like God has forgotten you, feeling like all hope is lost, just hold on. Like God never forgets his own. He never does and he would touch your life. I feel like I'm still going through like healing and God is preparing me for great things by the grace of God. And also be careful about your confessions, your... You know your confessions what you say about your life um like you can think things you can think negative thoughts but rather you not but even if you think negative thoughts try not to voice them out try not to actually like say those things that you're thinking and yeah i just felt like i should come around and say that and i just want you guys to not give up on this channel don't give up on sally's corner i'm going to be back and better but right now, I feel like I need to take a lot of space, sit back, think, reflect, work on myself, work on every aspect of my life, and just keep praying and making, I'm praying that God would make me and help me to get to the level and to the point and to, and, and also change and transform my life for the best. Yeah, that's just what I wanted to talk about. Because sometimes you might think you're the only one going through this and that, but you're not the only one. People are going through like so many things and they need help, support. They also need to know that they are not alone. And that's why I'm also doing this video because I want you to know that you're not alone. I'm here. I'm going through the same thing. And, you know, like, it's for the best. It's always for the best. Sometimes people always think God, for God to bless you, he has to give you something. But sometimes he takes things away because he has plans for, to bring better. Um, I, don't, I don't know if that applies for my sister because to be honest, the way she was taken away from me, she was basically snatched away. But you know, there's one thing I, I keep comforting myself with is that God does not allow anything to happen that he has not god exactly well basically what i'm trying to say is god god is the boss he has to sign before you get your salary he's the one that has to sign that okay you know what your sister would pass 
And he signed that and he said, okay, so for God to have allowed that to happen, then there's a plan and purpose which he plans to actualize through it. And that's just what I've been basically using to console and comfort myself. And basically just, yeah, just saying that and believing that is really helpful. So that's just what I'm saying to myself. And also, uh, secondly, let me talk about breakup. So when you go through a breakup with someone, especially if someone that you've planned, you've seen, you've taught, you've, you know, like, as at this time last year, I was at a point where I was like, I'm not entertaining nobody. I'm just going to be on my own. I want to, I, I wasn't even interested in dating or anything. And someone came along and made me believe that they were not interested in all those frivolities either that basically God had shown him that I was the one for him and that's what basically pushed me and made me believe that okay we share the same purpose but the mistake I did was I didn't take time to pray for myself to be like oh do you see this guy as well to know that this is the person that God has actually put planned for you and i didn't do all that so like which i regret to today i should have taken time to pray and waited on god to show me before actually embracing and accepting this person because you know um uh, how do i put it <laughs> um, the devil can come in sheep clothing basically the a wolf can be disguised as a sheep and that's basically what happened. This person disguised so well that I didn't see a lot. So by the time I had gone into this relationship, I met like so much barrier, so much like, so much that I just did not expect to meet or to go through or to see. And yeah, so by the time, oh, when I cut, sorry. And so by the time I met with all these obstacles and met with, I don't, I won't call them obstacles. When I met with the reality of what this person was about, it was already a bit too late. But then you've invested emotionally, you've invested financially, you've invested basically all around. You've invested your emotions, your heart, a piece of you into this facade and at the end of the day you find out that okay it's not going to work but the good thing is that god is always there to pick us up and to let us know that we're not down like that he's always there and sometimes everything that and not sometimes everything works together for good for those that love god and i believe i am one of those that god was talking about so that's what keeps me going. I just believe that everything is going to work for my good. Everything is going to work together for my good. So that's just why I used to encourage myself. So if you miss anyone or think you have lost something, just remember to tell yourself that you haven't. That God knows why and he knows best and one thing we should do is let's not let's let's turn our l's into a lesson don't turn always turn like god can turn your losses into a lesson so don't come out from a situation and don't and have like <laughs> do not come out of a situation without having learned something from it like you should have something tangible that you say oh my god i learned this from this situation this is why i wouldn't put myself through this again this is why i wouldn't go down this road again what can i do differently because if you keep doing the same thing you cannot expect a different result so you have to work differently talk differently act differently and relate to people differently so that you would basically have a different outcome Anyways, thank you so much. I don't want this video to be too long. I think it's already 10 minutes. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notification if you haven't. 
and leave a nice comment let me know what you're good just relate with me and if you like this kind of videos i think i can actually try to do more of sharing videos like this and just let you guys know what's going on with me all right thank you for watching bye